There. Hey, is. happy there. horned up day, everybody. What a day. What a day. Happy Cheers. horned up a Cheers for sure. It's Thursday. We've made it through it, mostly made it through another week. Uh, we survived the blizzard here in Minnesota. Now it's time to talk Minnesota Vikings, draft, free agency, everything uh, that's been going on right now with the Vikings. Yeah, we got uh, Gear Bear in the house, Savage, Ashley Harms, EFW Enter, Travis Nitzberg, David Ditter, like Tex Ritter Ditter, mm. Mark Johnson is also in the house, Mason M. Randy, good to see a whiskey weekday. That sounds whiskey like uh, pee pee in the pants while you sleep weekday. You don't think that's uh, Savage is the old macho man, do you? Oh, yeah. No, macho man's in heaven, unfortunately. Oh, my God. So I don't serious? know if you heard the news. Michael Blackie in the house. Viking Funeral, what is up in the zone podcast? Jen mm. is here cleaning up. He's a jizz mopper. He's he cleaning is the up jizz everything. mopper. Twi- Twins won. Uh, Royce Boom. Lewis, first yeah. at back, goes fucking donkey. And then he something with his quad. God, I mean, can the dude stay healthy? He's so good. Apparently not. Apparently not. Got to go out and sign uh, Benito Santiago now. So we're gonna have to do. I, you know, I'm surprised. I wonder if Benito Santiago has a kid like in in the in the minors right now. It's about to be a star. <laughs> like a star. Actually, his kid's probably like 50. Does that kid look like a melted candle too? Yeah, I don't know. Benito Santiago, so excited when his rookie card. Football junkie in the house. What's up, Monomirai? What's up, what? GD Garcia Sports in the house? What's going on? Who's that dude? D uh, Garcia is guys... here. Who? D Garcia, I haven't seen him since like Jesus, week week sixteen. D Garcia, I've been I've been scouring the obituaries, just hoping not to see your name because we have not seen you, yeah, since like week seven. Yeah, very good. GG Sports podcast in the house. How are you guys G-G-G-G. doing? GG. G-G. If you haven't, uh, go I hope give it's these just a, a sub a dub dub in the Absolutely. tub. Absolutely. I bet those two guys back. Are... Have you been listening? No. I was so excited Shame to see D Garcia. I was, really I was just gonna say, I bet, I bet the GG Sports, I bet those guys have taken a tub, nice little tub, like together. Yep, talking about Vikings. Nothing better. Nothing better. Kevin in the house. Kevin Bloody Noblet. Soup. Jesus, I've, I've dabbled. <laughs> Is that, uh, I I've dabbled. I don't Quad like injury. clots in my tomato soup. Uh, oh my Mason. God, Michael Whoa. Blackie. Hey, oh! told you guys it's not a done deal we can draft him what happened <laughs> is the draft started is he oh, a shit. time traveler what's happening michael blackie thank you thank you sir Alyssa oh, is shit. in the house as always wonderful to see her absolutely skull mafia what's going on buddy dirk diggler pulled his hell? groin and quad at the same time i think that's a jesus joke. i did that once uh gare bear what up see i told you i called it I'm just trying to figure out if Michael Blackie has a DeLorean. What's going on there? Yeah, um, he's a he he it's a done deal. It is a done deal. We got we got plenty to talk about. We got uh Patriots Global coming on, big ass Patriots channel. We're gonna get his thoughts on what the Patriots might do if they're gonna want to trade with uh with us Minnesota Vikings. Uh a lot of Vikings news. We play a who'd you do to a little trivia at the end. Uh if it's if we gotta get two guys on, yeah. Or ladies, whatever you yep. want at the end, uh, for some sort of probably low level prize, hat, shirt. Yes. I don't know. What else have we got? It's a good one though. We're gonna we're gonna give you clues to uh, players. You got to guess who it is. Adam, it's like guess it's like guess who kind of. Guess who? Yeah, I always uh, loved getting that fat guy with the hair on the sides. Oh, Chuck. I don't know if it's Chuck. He had white hair. Oh, that was like Randolph. Adam, how are you doing? One of the most handsome men I've ever met in my life. I've met Michael a lot. Blackie, are you sending us items? <laughs> from the future. Items from the future. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't got them right. Julian Marker, Dennis, we're going to give her about two more minutes, and we're going balls freaking deep. I think that's pronounced oh. Dennis. Delton. Delton down. Wow. I do that every time I, hope I, my, see I hope my dad's watching. You've been singing a lot tonight. What's that flower you have on? Will you please just sing my dad to sleep one night? It's all he wants. I don't gotta sing him to sleep. He'll be uh and he'll tickle smell, him he'll back. Smell, he'll smell like gasoline. No, it's like Windsor. So it's like Windsor. Uh Skull Skull. TY wants in. All right. Hey, if if uh the first people that email us. One bar in Lumpagus at Gmail. Uh, I'll reply with the link when it's time. Nitzberg, 22 likes. Thank you, sir. Hit that we like should, button as you're coming in. We should just ask Michael Blackie who won because he's he's living a little bit ahead of us right now. 
Yeah, L- always... Lopagus has uh, his his cameras. I think is a camcorder from 1980. That's fuzzy as fuck. What? what are you talking about? Probably Crazy. lost. Probably lost thousands of subscribers. Seven and seven are the best. Mm. Happy nuts. Mm-hmm. When are you guys bringing in a producer? Minnesota Charlie. That's a new name. He's Minnesota already, Charlie. He wants a, he yeah, wants a producer. Sure. Long overdue. I think Gary thinks maybe Miss Alyssa might be his cousin. All right, let's do this. Let's hop into this horned up. Uh, also, if you uh, can't wait for that Gary and Adam, what I miss? Oh, I don't know. Mafia Adam going to have a green stinky gift. Oh boy. Oh, what? Is, it, is it attached to his body? It might just be. Uh, might just be broccoli. I guess it's broccoli mm. he's talking about. All right, let's do this. Let's uh, let's talk some damn Vikings and uh, whatever you guys are drinking, whether it's a, you know, maybe it's just a soda pop or a real lukewarm Miller Lite. Throw it in the comments. I heard it was whiskey weekday. Uh, that was the rumor <laughs> earlier today. All right, let's uh, hop into this. In Vikings free agency, we're gonna start with some free agency nuggets. Uh, Vikings, this came out earlier this week, but supposedly thought they had a great shot at Christian Wilkins to the point where I think they were something like they were very confident they were going to get Christian Wilkins. Then that Raiders offer came in. So Vikings apparently made a big push and thought they were going to get this guy. It didn't happen. Mark Johnson's drinking Miller Light. Want to be on your level? Bush Light by Ted Morrison, old fashioned. You mm. are going to have a sleepy pee pee, sir. No way. I think it's going to be ready to roll. Ah. Uh... Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, they can say whatever they want. I mean, it's smart of them to say that. I mean, I don't know if I really believe it. I, I would say I'm in on all the big boy names at a very big position of need. I, right, I don't necessarily it. believe it. I don't think it's not anything not to believe or, or to believe, but the fact that they, I mean, if they really thought they had a shot, like they were, that was a plan going in. And you've already heard, like, they had these other alternate routes they were going to go. Um but to believe you actually had a shot at Christian Wilkins to the point where you thought he was going to be a Minnesota Viking, I think it's interesting anyway. I don't think there's anything to really take away from it. Other than it's interesting. Santa Claus is real too? No, I'm just saying it's interesting. Like, hey, the Vikings thought they actually going to get this guy. It didn't happen. And I'm glad they didn't. Like, they're not going to get in a war when the Raiders are offering that much money. No way in hell. Hey, Alyssa and Dusty Ray, they're finally <laughs> on the level. They did it. They're finally best friends yeah, I mean, whether it's like I said, I don't, I don't know if I don't care. It didn't happen. I mean, if I don't know, I, if I'm Kevin O'Connell, I'm gonna say that exact same thing. We thought he was gonna come here. I mean, we offered him uh, five million dollars a year. He didn't take it, but uh, we thought he was gonna come here. The va- the fans will say, oh, the Vikings actually took a chance on this. They made a thing. Whatever. Didn't happen. Absolutely. We got breaking news by Delton Vincent. He just says McKinley Jackson. He's a mountain of a man, a mountain of hog. Love that guy, what? McKinley Jackson, round four. Oh my Travis, God. Travis, there's there's children watching. No, there's not. If they are, their parents should <laughs> really yeah, we've had it happen before. Better so hold fine. on them. Uh, Xavier Howard has not signed anywhere. It sounds like he really wants to be a Texan, though. Um, he wants to take a oh, God. He would be God if yeah, if I'm him. I want to be a Texan too. Which means he would be a Viking next free agency. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. That is you gotta get dipped in the the Texans. Uh, I don't know chocolate. Are you a chocolate dip guy? Are you a butterscotch? Are you a cherry? What's your dip at Dairy Queen? I don't really. Uh... Okay, go back to your youth when you cherry? were younger. Cherry. All right. So cherry. You gotta dip them in the Texans dip. Pull it out, and then the Vikings will sign them. Uh, let's go to some other Vikings free agency news with a guy we actually did sign who is here. We don't have to pretend that was here or say that we want him. Shaq Griffin. Alec Lewis from The Athletics said to expect Shaq Griffin to be a starter this year. And then Kevin O'Connell said this, we want to get to a place where we can play more man coverage. We want to pair our pressures with some man coverage on the back side. So back side. Shaq Griffin, <laughs> I thought the same thing. Going to be a starter? Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people have said that. Like, he's here and he's going to start. So it's going to be Shaq Griffin and Makai Blackman and uh, Byron Murphy in the slot. That's where they want him. Travis you Nisberg Byron Murphy in the next still... one, then you gotta have Josh Metellus out there busting up ass left and right. Travis Nisberg is still trying to prove Santa Claus is not real. <laughs> uh everybody, it's cherry, it's a landslide. It does seem like cherry is the go-to Who the fuck dip. Goes and gets a, a, a chocolate dip cone. Well, I mean, why don't you just get like a ick? Yeah, that, that explains a lot. I love chocolate. What can I say? Um <laughs> Yeah, Murphy. Uh, Murphy is. I think Murphy this year yeah. we're gonna be like, holy shit. 
this is beautiful. We need to resign this dude immediately. Like, I, I think we're really going to be surprised. Like, he's going to go back to his home where he excels. He's not going to be that guy where it's like, all right, you need to be our number one corner right now mm-hmm. because everyone else sucks ass. Now he's going to go shut every fucking down. Boing! Absolutely. Uh, we got FW Ender, the only butterscotch in the entire comments as far hey, as Hey, Ashley likes and, chocolate. Yes. Me and Ashley can get some dip cones one of these days. Monomini is a dilly bar, man. <laughs> we can still get those dip, too. Yeah, you can get those chocolate, cherry, butterscotch. Anybody who gets a butterscotch, anything should be kicked in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> I never did like butterscotch. Is butterscotch this the flavor? Green. As I've gotten older, I've appreciated it a little bit, but it's still not my thing. No way. Yeah, it's not. It's just so gross. I would rather have like trying to like mint. I'd get something dipped in mint. Oh, I do like mint. butterscotch. <laughs> I do like mint. Um, I like butterscotch when I'm 78 years old on my deathbed. I'm like, you know what? Butterscotch is certain sound good. Well, I never used to like coconut either, but I like a little coconut here and there. Yeah. Just a little 34 bit. Like, hey, everybody, shaving. hit that like button as you're coming in. Hit that sub. <laughs> Uh, 12, 12K by draft day. It's getting a little dicey, but we're, we're, still, we're still trying. I did see, I think it was Dusty Ray asked when he can send in his uh, draft video. If you have it ready and you're committed to the pick, you can do it now. Um, uh, yes. So uh, everybody watching. So every year we do this, we have you guys send in your draft video. Basically, you're just predicting who the Vikings are going to take in round one. You can do whatever the hell you want. So I'm a beer. You can sit there and do absolutely nothing and make your pick. Doesn't matter. We mm-hmm. put all of them together. We do it in one video and post it. And then we have you guys vote who the best one is. The reigning champ is Viking Funeral. Uh, this year, Lupicus, I didn't even tell you this yet. I found it. So this year, the winner, last year, it's like, hey, you get a shirt or something lame. Is it that leopard with the with the vagina? No. Uh, this year, you are actually getting a trophy that looks like an Oscar. Uh, mm-hmm. It'll be it'll say the one bar in Lupicus best video of the wow. year on it. Uh, is it going to be a beautiful. traveling trophy every year? We put names no. on it. Everybody gets a, a trophy every single year. It looks it's it's a replica of an Oscar trophy. It's beautiful. So send it to one bar Lupicus at gmail.com as soon as you got it ready. R Emmer thirty three. I think this is his first comment ever. He said he watched a kid get slapped the Dilly Bar in high school. <laughs> All timer. <laughs> But he cried. I'm trying to picture that. Like, you just get, I mean, that would probably hurt. Okay, Delton, I mean, you can do whatever you want with it if you win. Sam Goldberger, what do you guys, what do you boys make of all this Kyler Murray riffraff? I think it's all media chuckle. Yep, it does. It is. It ain't happening. (laughs) What's happening to you? Uh, Uh, Yeah, I agree. I I do think it's interesting, at least from the standpoint, like, to just think about all possibilities just so we're ready for anything. (laughs) (laughs) I know. If you win the trophy, you can do whatever you want with it. Uh, so that's completely up to you. Uh, T-Bass, uh, no, uh, every winner, one, 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 one trophy a year gets it. Oh, T-Bass. He's so angry. Why is he so angry? I know. You know what? You should just kind of take a step back and just be like, God. He was happy on, he was happy on Tuesday when he drafted Scooby. I wasn't happy when he made that draft pick. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty uh, Ray. Okay, then, Gary, Gary likes a good uh, peanut butter parfait. That's what Gary likes. You know what? I bet he does. I can. I just imagine him eating that thing at like nine thirty at night, shit face, nuts on his chin, and <laughs> no, then he has the peanut no. buster parfait. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, all right, uh, let's keep going. Let's go. Let's all go. right. So apparently, uh, this came out too this week. KLC was so excited about Aaron Jones signing that he ran down the halls, jumping up and down, and also offered to pick him up and bring him to Minnesota. So does this mean? That we're actually gonna be have a consistent running game. Is KLC gonna call running plays if it's working like 28 times a game? Where's Aaron Jones live? Like, how far was he willing to travel? I don't know. I, I sound like he was gonna go to Wisconsin. I don't know if Aaron Jones lives in Wisconsin or KLC just thought he did. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I this one's interesting to me. Well, I mean, I, I I totally get it. Like, this dude was. The, the Packers did him no favors by releasing him after the fact. There probably could have been a team alter that was going to w- be willing to pay him a ton of money for like a, still a one-year deal. Mm-hmm. So all the big boys were already signed. Like, we got a gift. We got a gift because when you look at all those free agent running backs out there, he would have been right there at the top. I mean, obviously the Barkley, whatever. He would have been right there. He might not mm-hmm. have much left in the tank, but he's got a big-ass year ahead of him, and uh, it's beautiful. He should have been. I hope he did a nice little heel clicker. Oh, I'm sure he did. I and I love it. I love the emotion from him. This sounds like it's true. I don't no reason to think this is not a, a true uh recount of what happened, but I, I also just 
I need to see him commit to the running game as far as a play color goes. We haven't seen it yet. Even when it was working uh, back the year, well, his first year when we, were, we won 13 games, there was times when the running game was working. He just wouldn't stick with it. So will he do it? I hope he does, and I'm glad he's this excited about it. Well, I mean, uh, if we take a guy like J.J. McCarthy, we're going to run it. We're mm-hmm. going to run it a ton. Mm-hmm. T-Bass sticking up for his pick. Mm-hmm. Uh I'm not saying he's bad. No. And I, I have heard of him. I just don't like I don't know who you're getting rid of. Yeah. I know. That's the biggest issue. Like you have to cut a pretty decent player already. So yeah. Uh Benny Khan with an interesting question. Do you guys both want the same QB? I would QB? guess our rankings are very similar. Yeah, I I mean I'm taking Caleb Williams out of the mix, and then it goes Jaden Daniels, Drake May, JJ McCarthy. And then Michael Penix after that? Yeah, Michael Penix. And Bo Nix is somewhere about eight players back. Yep, I think we are the same. I do think we are 100% the same. Uh, let's go to the one last little bit of free agency news here. Uh, this is according to the old Chuck Walters. I think you called him your friend the other day. I believe this was the guy. Charlie, it, 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 Pioneer Press, it, it, nobody seems to like him. I, yeah. I think it comes up mostly because I think everything he says might not happen. I don't mm-hmm. know. <laughs> <laughs> he's been around for a while all right anyway he said the vikings are never in on trey lance he said that uh, it's because the vikings said he's unproven and too risky so apparently the steam uh with the vikings and trey lance was nothing but a fabrication as they say it's probably accurate trey lance appears he's just not a very good quarterback and nobody wants him so uh i mean that that uh it would have been cool. It, it would have always been cool to get him just to see what happens to give a, up a late round pick. I mean, yeah. I was all for that. I mean, he's still, I'm pretty sure he's still like 16 years old. Mm-hmm. Uh, but um, the fact that they didn't go after him, I mean, to be their starting quarterback, that's probably a solid move. He's so young. He's upset about the news Nisberg broke about Santa Claus. That's what young he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And and I did see it. Somebody put in the comment. Graziano is on ESPN this morning. Um Basically saying the Vikings are desperate to get into those top three picks. Oh. Desperate. And uh, Jaden Daniels is their guy. So it's uh, the 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 smoke is as thick as Lupagus's chest hair, which is disgusting. Uh, and you can't believe anything, even from Dan Graziano. I don't think there's anything there. I meant back hair. I don't have back hair. Why do you always say I have back hair? I've never had back hair. Man. Never. Once. Oh, God. I don't so, know. uh, yeah. Let's go. All let's right. go to the. Let's go to through the rule changes real quick. Yeah. Like, NFL making some big changes this week. Uh, let's start with with the old hip drop. The old hip drop can't just grab that thing and slam them down anymore. Uh, everybody, I mean, I can only imagine. Uh, I, I bet Davy Chains is gonna be in there. Just, I bet this one really burns his oh, ass. Sure. It's so. I mean, what are they supposed to do anymore? What are they supposed to do? Like, how is a defensive back like supposed Marty to Gennetti. tackle a, a tight end or running back? It's impossible now. So, this one I hate. I just, it's going to be hard to enforce. It's going to cost the Vikings, I'm sure, a couple times this year. Maybe it'll benefit them a couple times. I don't know, but I, I don't like this one. I don't like it at all. That's stupid. Nobody likes it. Uh, it's horrible. I hate everything about it. And I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Let's go to the kickoff. Let's go to the kickoff change, uh, which I like this one. This one's I do. sweet. Uh, what, what's this from the XFL, right? So yeah, basically they kick it off from the same spot. Yep. They line them up and you, you, nobody's moving until he catches it, uh, or it hits the ground. And then it's just a kind of a free for all. This is going to be sweet. Well, uh, I, the kickoff, is, like, the kickoff like return f- is back five yards apart. I mean, I mean, so, and then they, they block and go. So, so with this new kickoff rule, does this make Kenny safe? I mean, this, I mean, this, this definitely increases his chances of being on a team. I mean, right. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think it's a completely different ball game. Like before, like everybody's coming at you full steam and you want the speedster to, who can just go up there. Now it's like weird. It's like basically a running back with an offensive line in front of him. So I don't think it makes him safe one goddamn bit. I don't know. I, but I also think he is shifty and quick and decisive. I think you got to have all those same traits. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm i on the fence on this one. I think it helps him. I don't think it hurts him. I think there's going to be more opportunities for your uh, returner to have a return. So oh, I think yeah. that helps no, him in that respect. They're going to be uh, returning but the also, shit out of this. Does it change the type of returner, which you were alluding to? And I think there's definitely some valid validity to that one, too. They had uh, 
the Cowboys um, special teams coach Fossil on this morning on a show, and he basically said, like, you know, everybody is going to be compl- not know what to do. Like, you're going to have to learn on the fly. You're going to have to learn after a couple of weeks to see what actually everybody's doing, and it's just mm-hmm. going to be crazy, and it's going to be fun as hell. I, I think we're going to see a shit ton of returns. But you know who does know what to do? What? Our kicker, John Parker Romo, has done this plenty of times, and he even tweeted – you want a you want a kicker who can tackle? That's this guy right here. Uh, he's done it. He's been in the XFL. He's done this new rule. He's experienced it. They like him so much. They paid him the least amount of money <laughs> that anybody can make in the league. I, I you know what? Maybe this is why they brought him in. I think this is more. I mean, I, I like it. Don't get me wrong. I'm pulling for this dude. I want him to come in and be our kick for the next ten years. I want him mm-hmm. to come in. No he pressure. Can. He's just going to come in and kick the shit out of it and be fantastic. But when you look at the rule change. Like any kick, I mean, you basically just have to kick it inside of the what forty? Is that what mm-hmm. it is? I mean, that's it. So it's not like kicker wise; it's like it, they're doing anything special. But I think he maybe hit more chance to make the tackle. I think that's what he was getting at. Like you know, he's more of a part of actually stopping the play from you know progressing. So yeah, I don't know. At least he's done it before, John Parker Romo. Uh, there's no competition yet. I'm just curious if that's going to be a crusty veteran June first, or if it's going to be a, an undrafted rookie. I think it's going to be one of the two. Yeah, I mean, it's very based off of his contract. Uh, somebody else is coming in to compete with him. I didn't yeah, know but, you could make. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, was I, I saw it. And I was like, surprised. oh, that's only good. Oh, I mean, oh shit, that's over two years. I'm like, oh my god, that's not very good. Greg that's, Joseph is a Green Bay Packer. Uh, yeah. All right, let's talk. Let's go to let's go to some draft crushes. So just hold tight because we're going to be doing draft crushes. We got. Patriots Global coming on. We want to get his take. Uh, huge Patriots channel. We get his take on what he thinks the Patriots will do. If mm-hmm. he thinks they might want to trade back, you know, with like the Minnesota Vikings. Oh, and then we're doing team. some trivia. And who'd you do? Yeah, lots going. On. Uh, we we got a little, uh, you know, some some draft talk. But um, you want to get in draft crushes right now? Or you? I sound like you're gonna go take a pee the way you you laid it all out there. I haven't. No, I haven't. I haven't peed in days. I was wondering when the last time you actually took a tinkle. Let's do uh, let's do draft talk. Let's do a draft crush. So let's get into it. Um, so this week my draft crush again. This is just to get new names out there, guys. Maybe you you've seen him mocks and you watch him or where you've heard about whatever. Um, my guys, this this guy keeps kept popping up to me, and like you'll see him like round four, but also a lot of times different simulators. He'll be there in round seven. I'm like I gotta check out this Layden Robinson, this guard from Texas A and M. He's six three, three hundred two pounds. And you and you watch his highlights. I mean, he's got a very thick lower body. The guy's just wide. He's strong. He can anchor. You see him anchoring in pass protection. He he's actually pretty quick. He can get the second level. He can lay guys out. You actually see him knock some guys on their ass. Nice. But he uh, actually got knocked pretty heavily at the Senior Bowl. His technique is horrible. And there's actually Boy, a quote from a Brit. <laughs> well, but there's a quote from a scout from this guy. He said uh, he needs to refine his technique, but. It's not pretty, but he gets the job done. Like he does what he has to do. So Layden Robinson, I actually like this guy. Wherever he ends up going, I think it's gonna be somewhere on day three. I would be. I think he's a guy who can come in, give you quality depth year one, maybe push for a starter year two. Ain't pretty, but gets the job done. That sounds like me in my wee young twenties after bar close. Uh, yeah, you did get the job done. <laughs> I don't know if I did. Uh, what did I just see? Hold on, I just saw one that I wanted to say something about. Uh, Skull 2IA. That's, my, that's like my number one draft crush. Yeah, he's good. I've been talking about Holker for too damn long. I want him so effing bad. Uh, so that's beautiful. Uh, Cam Hart is Ballsters. Sam Hartman. That's what? just a crush. Like, he's just a good looking dude. He's a looking guy. That's what we I was going playing, for him. Uh, we don't want him playing any sort of football. He throws uh, the ball like from his hip. Have you seen him throw? It's fucking weird. Yeah, let's see. Charlie Boltman, the two new draft crushes after watching guards at tight end, Stover, yeah. Hergel. I was, I'm doing Hergels right now. Uh, I, you know what? So my draft crush, I'm just gonna, I, I'm, 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 uh, what's the word? Surrendering. I finally went and checked out the punter from Iowa, Tory yeah, Taylor. I mean, everybody always wants them. They're whenever they're sending us, uh, <laughs> their their mock drafts, he's always there. And I just like Ryan Wright so much. I didn't even want to look at this dude. And I don't. Yeah. I think Ryan Wright will be our punter. But if for some reason the Vikings are just like, you know what, we're moving on. I'm on the I'm on the choo choo train. The dude really? is fantastic. He's Australian. 
Uh, no. I mean, he's got the leg of a goddamn mule. Uh, I mean, I think I saw like he over 40, over 40 percent of his punts were over 50 yards. Mm. He's just got a big fucking leg and he's going to oh. be like 27 years old. <laughs> like, <laughs> I can't think of anything better. A middle aged punter in like the seventh <laughs> round, sixth <laughs> round. And a dude who consistently kicks it over 50 yards. I mean, he sounds like Ryan Wright, but he also does put it inside the 20. So, uh, Tory Taylor, like I said, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a right dude. But if they do, if it's in their head to move on, I would love everything about this. And just looking at him, it looks like this guy drinks Foster, those big Foster know, cans. Yeah. Just, I mean, you think he's ever right? You think he's ever beat up a kangaroo? No, absolutely not. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, I, uh, I never thought about checking on Tory Taylor. I'll have to do it. But, again, it's punter to me with all the Vikings needs. It just never really comes to the forefront for me. Uh, but, again, I'm surprised with all of our viewers who just really want us to make a punting change. And it's Tory Taylor. There's no one else. Well, it's right Torrey out of Taylor. shitty year. He did. He had a shitty he year. He blew his load as a rookie and gave us hope. And you know what? Maybe he'll bounce back this year and be like, fuck you guys. I'm talking about Tory Taylor. I'm the best punter in this goddamn <laughs> league. I'm the real Australian here. Uh, we also had um, Kyle Rudolph was on um, my girlfriend's show, Kay Adams, and he was Don't asking about. Hey, Don't be creepy. What? That's you're creepy. She's, she's really into Lepagus. Mm. Uh Anyway, uh, he, he was talking about how hard it is for a rookie quarterback to come in and be successful. He basically said there's no chance in hell. But then he went on later and said the Vikings should grab fucking Joe Milton from Tennessee. Yeah, you know, uh, Kyle Rudolph will go down, go down as one of the best Vikings ever. Um, I mean, all right, best one of the best tight ends ever for the Minnesota Vikings. He had a rookie. I mean, was, what year Ponder. did he get drafted? He was drafted the seniors Ponder. So, I mean, he got Christian Ponder. So, he's just pissed off at the world, and anybody would. I, I hope he's in the ring of honor someday. I don't give a shit what he thinks about mm-hmm. rookie quarterbacks. And Joe Milton, give me a break. I know. I'm like, the dude can sling it, right? But there was also I was watching the senior bowl. He was like throwing passes like into the ground. Like I don't, I don't know what the hell was going on there. So <laughs> nobody drinks fog. That's probably true. What? I, there's I another one. It. What's it? It's like JB. Uh, fuck. What the hell is it called? DB Bitters or Sweater? Hey, it's some fucking weird name. I don't know. Uh, but Kyle Rudolph. I mean, uh, uh, Joe Milton. It would actually be uh, Joe Milton. Would actually be. What are you doing? I'm gonna run in the fridge quick. Do quicker, Joe Milton. Uh, he, he's he's got all the tools. He's a fun dude to watch. Big ass arm, and whoever I mean, somebody should draft him in like round five or six, just for the pure upside of it. But like to be the guy, like to potentially be the guy, I don't think so. I, th- I think it'd be fun as hell to watch in uh, in preseason. Um, but Joe Milton, I don't want to. I don't want to hook our. Well, here's the thing we've done that so many times we did it last year we waited on the quarterback we got jaron fucking hall yeah he's not joe I mean, he's not the guy with the arm but we've, we've done this before we've gone on the path many many times it's time for something new it's time to go up and get a guy that you really really want and the vikings are prepared to do it it's time i don't care what kyle riddle says about how hard it is we see it every year look at fucking cj stroud last year he's a rookie came in and he destroyed the nfl yeah, and Joe Milton's big thing, I think, isn't he? Um, his big thing is like he's always had the tools, but he just hasn't really developed like as yeah, much that's... as anybody wants to. And and like he he he, I think he is he older or maybe not. I don't know. He had the tra- whatever. I'm, Joe Milton's fun. Don't don't want him. Don't want him. Yeah, I mean, fuck. If we had Bernard Barry back, just streaked on the field and chuck it ninety yards. That'd be fun to watch. Damn it, Dennis. Have you ever heard of Steve Jordan? Jesus. Steve Jordan Jesus, was son of a bitch. Wasn't he's, he's Dennis probably Jesh? a top top ten favorite Viking of mine? Wasn't he the old uh, sportscaster on uh, ABC News here in, in Duluth? Steve Jordan? No, I... Dennis Jesh. Oh, I don't even know who the oh or was it no, Jench? Was, uh... Maybe it was Jench. David Jench. It was David Jench. No idea. Let's really go. Close. Let's hit that like button. Let's get up to a Hondu while you guys are watching. Let's go. Let's go. Um, Sam Hart. Uh, Travis Ninsberg doesn't believe in Santa Claus, but he believes in Sam Hartman. Well, hmm. having dreams is what makes life tolerable. You're right. Let's talk about the pro days. Uh, all the big boys have had the pro days, and it's been one common denominator on every single one. Josh McCown has been there. 
watching and pretty much in these guys' ass. Uh, is he just going to be like this huge asset for the Vikings, having McCown here as our quarterback coach? It sounds like he needs something to do. <laughs> he needs something to do. Why would you not want your quarterback coach there? Why, if if they're sending him to Caleb Williams pro day, like they just don't want to hang out with them. You like, got to have no someone there. I mean, they're not going well, to any of these. They're going to have private the, meetings with these guys to after. send anybody to Caleb Williams pro day. You you never know. You no. never know what's going to happen. It's the NFL draft. No, the only, I mean, he's just just smart. Got to go check like, him everybody out. He was right behind McCarthy during his workout. Then, like you've seen, like I think up for discussion, just said it like. He was sitting there on the sidelines talking to Drake May during his, and it, I think he was his high school coach. So the dude's got connections, and I, I don't think there's anything that really changes. I mean, as far as I think all these young quarterbacks, why would you not want to come to the Vikings with all the stuff we have in place, everything that's like setting them up for success? Uh, but I do like the fact Josh McCown's out there meeting with these guys. Josh McCown will be a head coach in the NFL someday. There's no doubt about it. And I love the fact that he's here. I love it. I think he's going to be fantastic for whatever quarterback we draft. I love that he's creeping everybody out, like getting probably mm. way too close to these quarterbacks while they're out there. Josh McCown, handsome, great jawline, uh, made a lot of money in the NFL. What are you thinking? And now McCown. he's going to make our, our, our future rookie quarterback uh, damn good. Yeah, no, and – it's, you know, I, I do think the connections are important, whether you get the guy or not. You never know what's going to happen down the road if the trade com- becomes available, free agency, whatever. So you got to make the connections. So it's also a long game as much as it is a short game. So Did uh, he, well, he wasn't at Penix's. No, no. Yeah, but he Penix. was at Drake May. So Drake May was today and Penix. So I don't know yeah. if the Vikings, if who they sent to, to Penix's or not. Uh, they sent uh, John David Booty. John David Booty. Uh, yeah, Drake Mays was today. It sounds like it was pretty good. Everybody's yeah. posting that that clip of him on Twitter just fucking Davey. whipping that thing way the fuck out of there. David! Quasi and KOC better get this right. Allegedly, they targeted this draft for a quarter. Yeah, I saw yeah. that too. Yep, yep. They, uh, they've been looking at this draft, and, and maybe that's why they have 11 and 23. They're like, you know what? We don't even care. We just want one of these guys top four, so who gives a shit? And I hope that's the case because here's the other thing. The next subject we're going to talk about does Quasi already have his guy picked out? Like it happened with Lewis Seen. I I just oh, I hope, God. I don't want him to have tunnel vision, whether it's McCarthy, May, whoever. I hope he's truly open to three options because I think when you get tunnel vision, you you make mistakes, you overpay, and it could lead to, to bad decisions. So what do you think? Do you think Quasi has his guy picked out? I think he has his guys picked out. Like I, I hope, think he, I, so. I think he's absolutely just fine with one of these top four, and I think he's fine if the Patriots were to say, you know what, we want that twenty twenty five pick and the your two first this year, and it's a done deal. I think he's fine with that. If they say no. I think he's fine with giving our two first rounders to the Cardinals and being being with that. Like I think he has every scenario figured out as far as getting one of these top four. This is inter- we have three comments that thinking this is KOC's pick. Do you think Quasi would actually let KOC? I mean, really? That's interesting. There's actually four now. Well, he didn't. He didn't let him uh, keep Kirk Cousins. So, mm-hmm. I mean, you got to remember, Quasi is KOC's boss. So, like, he can do whatever the hell he wants to. Yeah, you hope they're on the same. It's great. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. I'll hire a new coach. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I hope he doesn't. I really hope. I hope he's just open to you know. Let's go up to this certain spot. Maybe there's two guys there. Maybe there's one, whatever. But if he's like, you know, hell bent on getting McCarthy, I think that's when you overpay, you overcompensate, and then, you know, you make bad trades. I got, uh, I sent the link to uh, Colby from Patriots Global. So he might be hopping on here in the middle of a conversation. That's fine. We'll make room for him whenever we get a chance. Hell yes. We will. So, yeah, I mean, well, I I, I got to catch up on the comments. Does everybody pretty much think that we got our guy? No, it's just it's weird because I think it, 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 I'm surprised. Does everybody think KLC should make the choice and not Quasi on the quarterback? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I agree. Uh, yeah, we just we just haven't had these guys around long enough to know who wears the pants. Like, you know, you see these teams with these GMs where it's basically like you're taking this guy. And you can deal with it, or you can get the hell out of here. So I don't, I don't, we we don't know, we don't know. I, I would assume the Lewis scene one was absolutely quasi. 
Well, here's the thing. We, we you said what we know, we don't know. I know Michael Blackie is in the future, and I know Skull TYA is in the past because he he just said Roy Lewis got hurt again today. Roy Lewis, yeah, got hurt Skull TYA, he's got to catch up, man. Man, I hope I hope that was. God, I don't want to talk about it. I'm don't sure he just no, he, popped he's, he's... he just popped a herp. He's fine. No, it didn't. I just didn't like the look on his face. It was like this. Oh God, ick. No. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> so then he's going to be fine. Yeah, be uh, fine. Luminous <laughs> Grin gifting over grin, five, five wow. memberships. If, yeah, everybody Rascal. hit that membership. Let's get some new members tonight. Luminous, well done, sir. Uh, any response from uh, Mr. Oh, Patriot? he'll pop on here. He'll pop right. on. Well, let's just uh, – so uh, let's see the Vikings do trade up. Are we going to hear the Vikings got fleeced on draft day, the Friday morning, the Friday after, the Saturday, how the Vikings overpaid? Uh, do you guys expect that to happen, or do you think the Vikings are going to be like, oh, my God, they made a great deal. They got this pick. Or do you think they're going to say that everybody's going to say they got fleeced? For what? Where are we going? When we trade up. Well, what do we give up? I'm just saying, like, just based on, like, Quasi's prior trade history – Moving up, do you feel like it's going to be a situation where we give up too much, or are we going to be the ones like, oh my god, the Vikings made a hell of a deal? If they give up more than the the those three first rounders to get into the top three, then yes, they will be fleeced, and people will say it was too much. I think it also depends too, like where, like if you're picking four or five, I don't think that third first. It's needs it's, to be it's in eleven play. and twenty three for four and five. That's yeah, I, but I don't think I've seen other ones where they're saying no. You still have to do this quarterback tax, where it's going to still cost you a first. And doing that for like McCarthy, I think that is overpaying. So I hope that's not the case. I really don't. I think if they go to like I, I still think the ideal spot is the Chargers at five. You give up eleven, twenty three, McCarthy done. If for some reason Washington or whoever's like, all right, you know what, give us this, like. It depends on who they get and where they go. Jaden Daniels, yeah, I think he's worth giving up more. Uh, and, and it depends on the player. If they trade up to like two and take J.J. McCarthy and we give up our next whatever, yeah. yeah, then they will get shit and they should get shit. But like based off of what you're seeing now, like with like going to three to get Drake May and giving up three firsts, I'd be, it's fine. No, I'm fine with that too. It's just mccarthy is the one for me where i have the hang up like if you go up to two to get mccarthy and you give up all these future picks for a guy who really has never had to be the guy that's 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 like these all these players are already risky but that is just so i think that's another level to me so it takes a, a another step up so and that's why i hope he's not focused on one guy like i really feel like i i hope he's open to other options and i love seeing that we're at all these pro days having mccom go to all these guys because i feel like maybe that opens up that opportunity me too. Angel layout. I, I'm assuming something's going to happen here. It will be shortly. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm just getting ready. I'm just getting ready. Appreciate that. Uh yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. If they give up too much, I will be the first one to say that was disgusting. I'm not come going to come on here and sugarcoat anything. No. Anything. Even before this poor quarterback, whoever we draft, takes a snap. Yeah, I. And you might have to. I mean, you. <laughs> that's the Vikings are also desperate. We just talked about that earlier. The Vikings are desperate to move up. If that's true, if they're truly desperate, you're gonna probably overpay. Yeah, we'll see. We but will the see. one we'll, thing you but mentioned there the Chargers. Also be teams. I mean, you got to look at the other side of things, like the the Cardinals or whatever. We're gonna know what they want. Like they're gonna be teams that are desperate just to get more first round picks because they don't to need to do shit. So and we'll see. I think the Chargers are the best team we can move with because I think they do want to move down. I think they actually are the team that wants to move down. Maybe they can get Bowers at 11. Maybe they can get their tackle at 23. I think they can fill needs with quality players that they have on their team. The Cardinals are a team I think is harder because they moved down last year. Like, if I'm a Cardinals fan, I'm saying stick and take Marvin fucking Harrison. Like, don't trade down because we did it last year. So I think the Chargers are the ideal partner. I think you get a little bit less as far as what it's going to take, and I think they also want to move down. Yeah. No, Chargers are the team. They are the ideal team right in front of the Giants. Kiss my ass, Giants. Yeah, the say Giants. <laughs> Kiss they're, my having, ass, Giants. they're having Easter dinner with J.D. McCarthy on Sunday. Who are? The Giants are. They're having an Easter egg hunt for him. Oh, Jesus. What is he, two? 
I don't know, but he's, they're meeting with him on Easter. If he's actually hate. doing an Easter hunt, Easter egg hunt, I don't, I'm not sure yeah, I want him. That anymore. was just my inside scoop. That was oh, no, see, right, there was so no that's called, that's called meet up. <laughs> Griff Daddy, what is the in hell? The house. We got Griff Daddy and what? D Garcia. I think he's talking about just you know he's finally able to urinate. Finally yeah. able to urinate. Yeah. Both Thank God. Time. He's probably turning yellow. The Giants can visit whoever the hell they want if they're if they don't get up to the pick. It doesn't matter. I don't. Like Mark, we I have saw, two first round Easter picks. Sunday. We have two first round picks. The Giants do not, and they don't so have a second my ass. rounder, right? They what? traded that to get. Didn't they get rid of their second rounder to get uh, Brian Burns? Yippee! They got Daniel Jones, and they're going to have him next year. They're not going to trade up. They're not going to get court. They can invite him over for Flag Day too. Doesn't matter. God, Voss says, "God damn prostate, friggin' prostate." Uh, well, let's keep going. Uh, Colby Patriots Global will be on shortly. He's probably got a couple dames trying to get his attention. He'll come on. He'll come on. You come got on. A who, damn well ready. You got a who do you do ready to roll? Oh no, I don't know <laughs> if I you? can go right into the who do you do's. What if he comes on mid mid do mid do? Oh my god. Uh well, we don't want to start a game yet either. Um, do, do, all right, you change the later again. Every time you do this, I feel like something's gonna happen. All right, let's play a little game of who'd you do if if uh if Colby comes on, we will uh we will pause who'd you do. So as always, uh we want to know I'm not prepared. <laughs> Egg guy rocks says invite him do? over to find hide the pickle in the patch. Who would you do? All right, so this this I, I went old school back again to our first round pick, mm-hmm. assuming that we're going to trade up for a quarterback, and then our two fourth round picks. And I intentionally made the two fourth round picks just maybe not overly sexy, um, mm. but let's go. So the first scenario here is Jaden Daniels at oh. So the assumption is here we definitely gave up a twenty twenty five first as well. So. We get Jaden Daniels, and then we get Eric All, who they just have a big old heart on for. <laughs> and apparently, and then we get Grayson Murphy, a guy that is all over the place on the draft. And that's board. Gabe Murphy's twin, right? There's two of them. Yeah, there's uh, there's a couple of them. A couple of so, Murphy boys. So this is Etta. This is Etta. Etta I was picked her up. Davey. I bet she was. Uh, I bet. I, I bet she made some fantastic cookies. You can skip the rest. All you right, got, you got I want tight end, you got Jane Daniels. Yeah, Harmsy's set. All right, so we got Drake May, Leonard Taylor, and then just like, what the hell? We took a tight end. Why do we do that? In the yeah, but yeah. I'm but actually, Drake May, Drake May would be up to pick three, and that does not like I I or no, that, that would be a 2025 as well. Luminous uh grin, he he get Edda pregnant. He got her pregnant. I don't think her ovaries worked for yeah, I don't know years. if Edda is uh functional dust down there. Nothing but uh uterine dust. I don't like I don't like all Val. Oh, Val. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Val. He's a real rascal. All right. So the last. Who would you do? Is Babs. We got mm. Babs here. We get McCarthy, we get Wingo, and Cedric Van Prown. Fuck. Fuck this me. one does not include a 2025 first. Wow. This is, this is like Cardinals, Chargers territory. Uh, the first two, definitely, you're giving up three first-round picks to get your boy. All right, let's chew on that one. Let's chew on that one for a bit. Let's let it we got Val. D. Garcia wants Val. Griff Daddy wants Babskis. Babs. Etta all night. I tried to put – I put Jaden Daniels in there and then just kind of mm-hmm. probably the two grossest next picks just to try to even it out a little bit. Yeah, this is uh... – Bab, Babs is – I would say Babs is taking her home. Yeah. Um at a see see Harmsy's on my thought train. Like I, I put that yeah. just for Jaden Daniels. I know it's <laughs> Alyssa would love to do Babs. Yeah, I think she already has. Wingo's a sleeper, Val. Not many Vals, but there's a couple trickling in. Leonard Taylor is so weird to me because he's just all about what he could be. He never has been it. So to me, he's all about projection and but the fourth round is probably where you take a guy like that. So I would have to say that Babs is the winner. Yes, I would say Babs. Babs takes her home. Here's the thing about Babs, and this is, I think, why I'm 
I think this is why I'm going Babs. I think you get three quality players here. Like you got JJ McCarthy, who it might be, might maybe not. He might suck. He and like he's the riskiest of these three quarterbacks, in my opinion. And like I hate the fact. Tya, that... don't be lame. Oh come on, Let's go with you. Uh, but Mikey Wingo, I think it's gonna be a, a pre. He might get a ton of playing time as a rookie. Van Pran, I love. Uh, whether you put him at center or guard, the dude's a mauler. His highlight tapes are fun as hell to watch because he's just destroying people. Uh, so I think the three best players is Babs. So that's why I'm going to go. I mean, as a whole, as a package, I'm going to go Babs. She's got a great package. Yeah, I mean, Wing, Wingo's oh. big thing, I think, is his, is his size. Like, I think his, uh, I think his length is a real big concern. That's- Those LSU boys, I love that defensive line. I don't care which one of these guys we end up with, Jefferson, Mason, uh, Makai yeah. Wingo. But, uh, yeah, that's definitely a definitely concern. But... You're reading comments. No, I'm I, I'm torn because I want Jaden Daniels pretty damn what are you, bad. Natalie and Bruglia? No, no, I'm not. I I would probably actually go Etta just for Jaden Daniels. Yeah, I can see. That makes sense. I don't give a shit if Eric All ever sees the field. <laughs> and Grayson Murphy seems yeah. smells like a reach. Oh yeah, no, he is. Like Jaden Daniels is the only thing. That you get out of Etta. So, uh, Babs has the. Nope, I'm going Etta. Done. It's easy. Done deal. Yeah. No, you do a great job. These are always tough. So, thank Etta. you for that. Her name is Etta. Oh, that's the worst song you've sung all night. I would agree with that. My <laughs> I'm an idiot. My dad's right. No. Your well, dad. Patriots Global is not hopped on yet. So, mm. I'm going to send him a quick message to see if he's saddling up. I'm going to read some comments while you're doing that. Uh, Drake May is the best quarterback in this draft, dot, dot, dot. No debate, says D. Garcia. I wonder if his kid agrees with him on that one or not. I wonder if he's in the closet. That's usually where he calls us from when he what? does that. Kevin Bowles says, screw, screw them two tight Etta, <laughs> Etta, go to Betta. You, <laughs> why is it Weta? Um, yeah, Harmsy just showing his urine. belief in Jaden Daniels. Daniels could be the only pick, and it would still be an A plus draft. I mean, come on, Harmsy. I, I know you like Jaden Daniels, but an Iowa tight end, you can't tell me that that's not factoring into your decision at all. I didn't realize Eric All went to uh, he's not a true blue Iowa tight end, he went somewhere else before, so that takes him down a handful of notches for me. What does it do for Harmsy, though? I'm just saying, like, those other Iowa tight ends. Iowa boys. Are they all from Iowa? So, yeah, he went to Michigan. He went to Michigan. That son of a bitch. How can hack it. Went to Iowa. Joined the program in spring of 2022. Van Pran is Bradbury 2.0. I don't think that at all. Um, Van Pran? Fuck no, he's not nice. Can Harms or one bar explain to me why Daniels is so highly thought after? I feel like he's the fourth best quarterback. Really? This is what gets me excited about him. Depends on uh, your flavor. We were talking about dipped cones earlier. Some like well, cherries, some like chocolate, some like butterscotch. Uh, I like the fact that Dan, I mean, Daniel's big thing is his size. You know, he's going to get hurt. He's not going to be, I mean, they say that same shit about a lot of quarterbacks. It doesn't happen. I just like the different element he brings to the game. Like, that's it. I want something. I want something a little sexy this time. Well, I mean, JJ McCarthy, he's probably going to be good. I mean, Drake May, he's got the boomer bust. He's he's the Josh Allen or, yeah. who, I mean, or bust. So I, I, I'm i fine with all of them. I just want something a little sexier. Well, Jaden, for me, uh, the fact he can take off with his yeah, legs, make Jayden those plays. by his first name. And also, like, he he's one of these few quarterbacks who at, he anticipates the route. So, like, he throws the ball before the receiver actually breaks. And to me, to do that as at a college level is huge. And like to to know what the receiver is going to do and to put the ball there. So when the receiver makes his break, the ball is already coming. That's huge. That, that is something a lot of quarterbacks don't do at the college level. So to me, that's huge. And Is it huge? It's huge. It's so huge. And he can sling it too. He's got a strong arm. I would like to see Jaden Daniels put on some weight. Not take so many fucking hits. That really concerns me because, like, he's a man. Where, he's a man's man. He can take the one where he hit. jumps up and gets absolutely smacked. I mean, oh Christ, you can't do that. So you got to coach that out of him. Put some weight on him. Uh, but that's why I love Jaden Daniels and Drake made to me too. Um, 
I love the Josh Allen aspect to him. I also it scares me because I think he can win you games. I think he can lose you games. When you're putting the ball into your non-throwing hand and you throw it, it's exciting. It's also a major concern. So, and also last year with Drake May, I didn't realize this. Until I was just watching some tape on him the other day. Like he lost. He had no O line last year. His O line was fucking horseshit. He lost all his big weapon in Josh Downs. Look at what Jaden Daniels is throwing to. He's got Malik Neighbors. He's got fucking Brian Thomas. He's got very good talent there to throw the ball to. Drake May had nothing last year, so he was pretty much the offense. And J.J. McCarthy had a strong running game. He had a good defense, so he wasn't the offense. He wasn't the focal point, and that's the concern. So all these guys bring something different to the table. It's kind of like a flavor of the day type of thing, and I, I like them all for what they can bring. So that's why I'm truly fine with any of them. It depends when and where we take them. Like if we trade up to two and took JJ McCarthy, I wouldn't love that. Um, but I'm also going to kind of default to the coaching staff and the scouting department and our GM. Um, but to me, Jaden Daniels is the guy. I I just I, I think he's going to be something special, and I really really do like him, even despite his weird fucking elbow that we saw yesterday. Jaden Daniels actually measured him pretty good. Was he like 6'3"? What was he, 2? Did he put some weight on his frame? Weight on his frame? Hold on. He reminds me of a young Heldella Roseby. Right. I can see that. <laughs> well, let's do... Uh, maybe maybe Patriots Global will have him on a, a different one. <laughs> oh, my God. Was, this... shit, shit happens. It happens. So, I know we have Skull TYA. Do we have anybody else who's really ready to challenge him? Yeah, anybody want to come on? So, like the shirt when the Ultimate Warrior challenged Hulk Hogan for the strap. Yeah, what a weird, what a weird thing to watch. It's one of the best things ever. All right, so we are going to bring on. If anybody wants to go ahead, keep keep an eye on the comments there, Lupagus. Uh, anybody wants to go head to head? Winter Mark Johnson gets... thinks that we didn't want Hen Hooker because of his age. There was more than just his age. No, I was I was really hard up on his age thing, and I'm, I'm completely over that. I mean, as far as the COVID, that's just something we're going to have to deal with. There's going to be some older players coming out for Hi, the next Renee. couple years. Hello, Renee. Uh, <laughs> it's time yeah. to show we say hi to Renee. So uh, who wants to come on? Who wants to challenge? Challenge. Skull TYA. The school two way in the waiting room. You put a link out yet? No, I'm waiting for somebody. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do a little fixing real quick. So hold on. Mm. Fixing. What are you fixing for? Comments. What are you fixing for dinner tonight? Nice stew, tacos. I do like stew though. I like stew a lot more than I should. I didn't make a stew this year. I usually it's like a nice, you know, January or something, but it was so warm. It just didn't feel right. Really give a shit if you made stew. Or not. You don't. You don't. You don't factor in the weather to what you cook. No, I do. I don't care if you had stew or not. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I just we're talking about stew. I just I didn't have a stew this year. <laughs> like at all. <laughs> I don't know. There it is. That that was the bigger thing about, about uh, hidden hooker, like Tennessee offense. It's just you need to fling the fucking thing. You like stew more than tacos. Tacos to me are the sloppy Joe of the Mexican food. Thing. All right, so I'm gonna put the link out here. So Skull TYA. One of these are for TYA. If, if someone else comes on, and uh so the next person that comes on gets to challenge Skull TYA. We got four questions. Four questions. The winner. What do we say the winner gets? A low level item. Yeah. So we'll email you. You email us at one bar lump. It's gonna be uh, one bar lump is hat, hoodie, shirt. Whatever is in your heart. So uh, let me put the link out there. A couple of comments to touch on before while you're doing that. Uh, Egg Guy Rocks, he likes silk tacos every night and actually in the morning. And Harms is asking morning me if I've ever had a, a nice cinnamon hangover. roll. If I've ever had a cinnamon roll with chili. Yes, I have. And it's actually a very nice combination. Shocking, actually. Ted Morrison is looking... Or Patriots Global. All right, Maybe we got change. TYA. Very Ooh. sunny there. Very sunny. And we're we got his best polo. We got Del- Delton that says, look at him. He oh! says Delton. <laughs> Just his eyeball can make it tonight. Boy. What's up, y'all? What's How going doing, on, man? Buddy? You got your Christmas lights on? Man, the girl got 
all this shit all fucking What are you eating this out. stew? What the fuck is that? Ice cream, man. Y'all got me in the mood. <laughs> I, was like, I think you had meat Anytime's in that. a good time for ice cream. Our <laughs> plan is always to get our viewers in the mood. I'm pretty sure you had meat in that ice cream. I don't know what kind of ice cream you're eating. Uh, Briars. Packers uh, Sears. The vanilla chocolate strawberry. Oh, Christ. I wanted, to, I wanted to throw some fucking pistachios on it, but some shits are like 20 bucks a pound. Wow. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> he only buys pistachios by the pound. <laughs> All right, here's what we're doing. So uh Lepagus has so we're doing we're gonna we're gonna give you we're gonna go back and forth. You each get a hint on a player for a specific category. Mm-hmm. And uh if you get it right, you get a point, and that's really it. So whoever we're doing four. So if it ends up being a tie, we'll do a tiebreaker. But we're starting off the the theme of this is uh Lepagus, are you going first or me? Uh whatever it doesn't matter, but so you get you can have one guess per clue. Right. Yes, one guess. So I'm one. gonna get. We'll, we'll start with Skull Two IA because he was first. So uh, Skull Two IA, I'm gonna give you one clue. You have to guess the Viking and the category. Tell- the category okay. for this one is New Viking. Uh. New Viking. So you get one clue and you I'm get sorry, a guess. Dalton's and you're going, going All right, here we go. Started <laughs> over 50 <laughs> games. Uh. Started over 50 games. Uh, Tillery. That is incorrect. Delton, you are up. Yo, that was a good That was a good guess, man. <laughs> I can see the ice cream. I don't fucking, like this. Uh, what's it called? The sportsmanship. Uh, he started over 50 games and has played. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A... he hasn't guessed yet. He can, still, he can still guess on this clue. I haven't given him a clue yet. You gave him the first clue. They can both guess on the first clue. Why wouldn't he want his second clue? Because you can, they both get a guess. He on doesn't the first get clue. two guesses. Give me more. Delton, Delton man, hasn't more. guessed yet. I want fucking more. He gets the second clue, <laughs> then he gets the guess. Zip oh, they, it, Lupagus. They both guess on the first clue. No, that's not how it works. All right, he has started over fifty games and has played on an NFC North rival team. Aaron Jones. Now, good guess, but he ain't it. He ain't it. Oh, this is, this is good oh my God. All right, back to TYA. I forgot his name. God damn it. Weighs over 300 pounds. Yeah, I can't. I, I know who it is. I just can't think of his name. Jesus. No uh, guess. The, All right. The guy we got from the Bears. Delton. It's Lowry, man. No, I, you what? didn't even let me give him. Is that your <laughs> guess? Because I didn't, I didn't give That's you the next guess. clue. That's my guess. Fuck it. <laughs> All right, back to TYA. He's not very good. <laughs> That's my clue. He's not very good. Mm. It's got to be the guy from the Bears. It's just fuck. Delton, I've never seen anybody eat ice cream. So I'm going to say, oh, God. I know it will start with F, 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 uh, Feeny. There you go, Dan oh, Feeney. Dan oh, Feeney. the See, fucking guard, man. See, oh. Lepagus, guess. That's a, they get one guess. They don't get no, two you guesses. No, you just get one clue. guess each per category. Is how we've done this in the past. <laughs> no, you go no, back and forth. Man. One clue. Ah, one clue I cannot think of his name. It's like all I right, Tya was... gets ah. Dan Feeney. All right, right. Lepagus, you're up. All right, so this is a uh, draft prospect is the category. All right, so I'm gonna do it my way this time. So uh, he plays <laughs> offense. You can each guess. Sense. Thank you, Griff Daddy. This is how you, this is how it rolls. That's not how we do it. He plays offense. It's a free guess. Guess whatever. JJ you want. McCarthy. No, idiot. Um, if we get a free guess, uh, I don't. I'm gonna this. say Jaden Daniels. <laughs> no, he is a transfer. Michael Penix. Oh my God! He got hey, it right. We got, got a tie ball game. <laughs> wow! Holy shit! The ice cream went right to the brain. Dalton. It was. Michael he was Penix. good at Indiana, man. When he played at Indiana, he came out as like the number one player in the country. He was bad ass at Indiana, man. For I think the ice cream is giving him power. Ice cream. <laughs> I think it's a whole ice cream, cream power. power. It's a one gallon <laughs> throwing down. <laughs> All right. Next next category, former Viking. This could be in 1965. This could be 1983. It could be the anything. Only one he, bar is probably late 80s. He's uh he's a former 
min or a former Viking. He could be still active. If the preseason had a Hall of Fame, he'd probably be in it. Audi call. That's it. Are you serious? Oh, wow. No. Oh shit. Is it really Adi Cole? That's fucking crazy. He turned his mic off. That dude, his mic's off. That that dude. He got had, right? he hit his he mic. He had the preseason <laughs> game of his life. He had two picks, and I think they're both right. touchdowns. Right. One bar, your mic is off. You muted. He his... had that fumble return or whatever. Yeah. You're, you're muted. Yeah, I can't hear him either. She, she, yeah, she I didn't one. even get to the good clues. Was it really Adi Cole? <laughs> I had. A belly button can be in any or in. Oh wow, that's a good clue. This could have been. This could have been all those running backs that lit shit up. Michael Boone, fucking Kyle Slaughter, and he goes with Audi Cole right off the bat. Uh, it would have been a uh, this first name's the same as a German automobile. We would have been here all night, man, if it was up to me. I didn't realize Dylan was eating it with a fork. Yeah, bro, it's the only way to eat ice cream, man. What do you eat macaroni with? Uh, ass. Ass. <laughs> your ass? PP. <laughs> All right, so it's two to so one. So who got T-Y-A. it? Did Skull, Skull T.Y. got it? So it's two to one right now. All right, Delton needs to get this to win. Or at least a tie. Then we have a tiebreaker. Uh, no, no, no. Right. He's up one, man. Yeah, yeah. Two to one. Yeah, yeah two to one. Yeah, he get this one, we're tied. Yep. Yeah. You got one more chance. All right, he's 6'3", 290 pounds. What are we going with? The draft? Oh, sorry. The, the, the yeah, category, like, okay. category is current Viking. Current Viking. Well, this has never seen a game show before. <laughs> current Viking. I'm sorry. I forgot the I forgot the category. Current Viking. You're good, man. You're good. Six three. How much? Two ninety. Six three. Two ninety. Any guesses? Big boy. <laughs> Got to play on the defensive line. That's so. Oh, much that, would be, uh, that would be that would be Jaquel and Roy. Oh, man. I said. Yeah. What do you got, Skull TYA? Uh, 63295. Got it. Uh, I will go with Tillery again. Eh. He played college ball at Florida. What the fuck? <laughs> I think I got this. I got this. Oh, dude. I don't like um, the forks trying going to think. through it tonight. I'm, I don't, not sure, I'm not sure if he played at University of Florida or not. So yeah, I'm going to go with Jonathan one. Bullard. Yes, Skull oh, TYA oh, wins bully, it. Bully, bully, bully. Skull TYA. Dalton's Delton, happier than Skull TYA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm concerned yeah, about your ball movement. That, that, that fork wants this to be over so bad. I thought Rory was it. Well done, fellas. Well done, Delton. I know you got hours and hours left. Oh, he fucking left. He's out of here. <laughs> I know. There he is. Yeah, he's back. He's got ice cream to destroy. You got hours of ice cream meeting to go, man. Be careful. You might have a. You might have shit your pants tonight. Mike, get, I'll see y'all later. Get brain Thanks freeze. for having me on. Thanks yeah, for coming on, nice. Delton. Yeah. See you later, buddy. Ty, well done, sir. Well done. I, I feel Redemption. much better. I redeemed myself. You did. You did good. <laughs> Delton's <laughs> back. What the hell? <laughs> oh oh shit. shit. That's that good was fun. Shit. That fork, all right. Uh, and the way he was sucking it made me very uncomfortable. Uh, he's all good. All right, that's it. That's a bow on her. That is a bow for horned up. We'll we'll, we'll track down Patriots Global. Uh, he'll come on, give us a scoop on what he's thinking for the Patriots. Um, but every, as always, appreciate everybody coming on. Hell yeah. Love us some horned up. Plenty to talk about in the coming weeks. Hit that sub. Make sure to join us for the draft party uh, on the first round Thursday at like probably like five. Yeah, a little good five-ish. And also, guys, remember this. Uh, March 24th, 1990. Sad day in the history of television because that was the last, uh, that was the final episode of Elf aired. Yeah, I didn't really care. <laughs>